Hi, Domingo Reyes coming in your home again with another delicious recipe for you and your family. Today we're going to be making one of my favorites, curry chicken. Curry chicken. And uh, we're going to start out. I'm going to start out. I have one whole chicken. I like to get the chicken whole. That way I get the all the different pieces. I mean, you can make this with whatever type of chicken you like, whether uh, whatever parts of the chicken you like, breast and the wings and uh, thighs and legs. I'm, I'm using the whole chicken because I just like the variety. Everyone likes a different piece of the chicken. And I'm just going to cut my own chicken up. I um, save money when you, when you, if you can cut your own chicken up and all that. For them to do it uh, at the store costs just a little bit more. So I like to, uh, to do mine by myself. chicken. I'm going to cut that all up into different pieces, cut my wings off. And then what I'm probably going to do with the, I'm, first I'm going to take that back. Nobody likes back, so just take the back off. I'm going to cut the, the breast into three pieces. Throw all that into my bowl there because what we're going to do is we are going to make a nice curry seasoning curry marinade uh, for this as well so uh, and, and what we're going to do is probably try to keep keep the uh, marinade on there for probably about an hour or so or more as you can see uh, many times I've already stated for maximum seasoning I mean it would be great if you could do this overnight and you get a lot more seasoning out of that. Uh, I'm going to be making a pernil probably two, tonight. Uh, probably I'm, I'm going to videotape that as well. Um, but it's going to be a two part. I'm going to do the seasoning first and let it sit overnight. That I definitely always let sit overnight. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and um, uh, cook it on tomorrow. But obviously for you, you're going to see both parts very quickly. Uh, but for myself, I'm going to let that marinate overnight. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and clean up uh, this, this uh, cutting board and all that. And I'll see you back in a moment because i got to get all this chicken off. All right. Cleaned off my cutting board. Always important, especially when you're handling chicken. I mean, I do this for any, any type of meats. But so you, don't, you avoid cross-contamination. Make sure you really clean your surface as well. Uh, so you don't cross-contaminate your food. And uh, I, what I'm doing right now is I have three cloves of garlic. And I'm going to finely mince that. I'm going to finely, finely mince my garlic. And now i got my onion. I'm just going to slice my onion into thin slices. I have half, half of a large onion, and obviously if you have small onions, you can just use one whole onion. But I'm just going to thinly slice those. Okay, I also have one green bell pepper. And if you notice, this, this, this uh, recipe, or in, in today's shot, I've kind of given us a different angle today, so I'm just kind of testing things out. I'm new at this. Uh, kind of different to talking to a camera. I'm home alone and uh, just trying to cook, so I'm playing cameraman and everything. So I'm trying to figure out the angles that work best for what we're doing. And once again, if, if you've you know been getting some of these recipes and cooking them, or just really enjoy watching them, please let me know. Let me know in the comments section so that gives me encouragement to continue doing this. Alright, so I've got onion, I've got pepper, green pepper, green bell pepper, and then also I'm going to use a red pepper as well. Now this is optional of course. I 
just like the different colors. I love different colors in my food. And if I had yellow, I'd, I'd use a yellow one as well. Now the other thing is, if you like it really spicy, I mean you're going to get a little bit of spice depending upon the type of curry you're going to use. But if you really like a little, a lot of heat, then I would suggest you throw some jalapenos in there, or some chili peppers, or if you're real bold, you can take some habanero peppers or scotch bonnet peppers if, if you're really bold. Um, but I'm not, I'm not that much today. I, I'm, if it was for me, I would definitely spice it up and make it real nice and hot. But my family's not going to go with that. So, all right. So I, I've added all of those ingredients right there into my chicken and I'm going to put in some curry powder. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm going to use two different types of curry powder. I'm using Badia curry powder as well as Grace curry powder. Now I mainly, when I make these, these, uh, this type of curry chicken, I stay with the Jamaican style curry powder. Some of the Indian curry powders have a slightly different taste, so I stick with the Jamaican style curry powder. And depending upon your taste, you're going to find the type of curry powder that you know best suits your taste buds. Uh, in probably one of these other episodes, I'm going to try to pull someone in. There is. A friend of mine, a Guyanese friend, who she makes her own curry powder, and she does a wonderful job uh, with it. And so I might try to solicit her help in helping us to make our own curry powder. So, all right. So I have the curry powder in there. going to add a little bit of garlic powder. I guess this is helpful so I can go right to my spices too. Some garlic powder. And this is optional as well, but uh, a pack of sasson. Sasson goja, I told you yesterday if you were listening, I, I was out of it. So but I went to the store and I picked up my sasson. This just gives it a nice little extra flavorful kick and I'm sure this is not in any any Jamaicans or, or, or a recipe or or anything like that but I cook not necessarily traditionally I just cook for what tastes good for me and for my family and friends and uh, no one has complained yet so if you're a traditionalist I'm not cooking traditional curry but I, I try to take the recipes and put my own little spin on it. Oh, and I'm missing some salts. I'm going to use some sea salt. I love sea salt. And there is a big difference in taste using regular salt and sea salt. Alright, so. If you've been looking at my recipes, you notice I use my hands. I clean my hands. They are clean. But a good cook uses his hands. Now look at that. Look at that. I'm trying to get this angle in your well. Alright? So you see that? That's what you want to, that's what you're going to let your chicken rest and sit in that marinade for at least an hour. And if you have time, Put it away overnight, wrap it up, put it in the refrigerator, and let it sit overnight for maximum flavor. Alright, I'll see you back in a few minutes when uh, we, we begin to cook this. I'm going to give it about, I'm going to give it about a half hour just because of my time. I'm going to give it about a half hour. So I'll see you back in about a half hour. Alright. Alright, well, we're ready now to start cooking this. I have my meat that has been... Um, been 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 marinating for a while now and now to that I have a hot pan and I've lined the bottom with olive oil and now what I'm going to do I'm going to take this chicken and I'm going to add it right to it
I'm gonna let let those vegetables do, let that all cook down for a little while. And what I did, I peeled some potatoes. This is gonna come in at, at, later on, but that's what you can be doing while you're allowing this to cook. I have two potatoes I'm gonna use, as well as three uh, carrots that I'm gonna use as well. And I'm gonna put that in later on. But for right now, I'm gonna let this cook down for a little while. And what I like to do, I'll take the same pot that I had the chicken in, I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to that. I'm gonna swirl that around and kind of get all the seasons that were in there. Right, I'm gonna add some water to that mix. And now I'm going to my lid on and I'm going to let that cook for uh, probably about 20 minutes so I'll see you back in 20 minutes I'm gonna do that too. hey we're back we're back we're back and we're getting ready to now just finish this uh, curry chicken off it's been cooking now for about 20 25 minutes now let's finish this off all right so let's open that up and take a good look at it Looking good, looking good. All right. So that chicken has been cooking real well. Now for the remainder of this cook, I was cooking it with the lid on. For the remainder of this cooking, I'm going to cook it with the lid off. I'm going to start trying to reduce some of that liquid in there. And I'm getting ready to add a key ingredient. A can of coconut milk. All right. Now this coconut milk, this gives it that knock it outside the park flavor. Coconut milk leche de coco. You put one can of that in there and as I said what we're going to do is we're going to now let this cook without the lid on. Alright. So to that I'm going to add a few more things. I'm going to add a little more curry powder. I'm going to add some chicken bouillon. Let's see. I'm going to add two, two bouillons, two chicken bouillon. Uh, doesn't want to open. Two cubes. Usually I like to have the power because it's just a little easier to work with. But I'm going to use what I have. Alright, and then after about another 10 minutes, we're going to come back and we're going to start tasting. Remember, key, key, key to taste, taste, taste. Taste your food. Taste your food. If you learn anything from from Gordon Ramsay, the Hell's Kitchen, and all those programs, uh, taste your food. You do not serve any food without tasting it through every stiff, all the different stages, especially right before uh, you start serving it. So I'm going to let that cook down. It's looking wonderful already, but the more it cooks, that the coconut milk actually will allow it to make a very nice sauce, and it'll start thickening up actually as it as it cooks and starts to reduce a little bit more so I'm gonna cook this on high for a little while I had it on medium I'm gonna cook it on high right now and I'm gonna let it start cooking out and reducing for a little bit so I'll see you back put the round and I forgot that I left out my potatoes and my carrots so I'm gonna throw my potatoes and my carrots in there as well don't know how I forgot to do that, but nevertheless, here they are. And now I will see you back. Let's say eight minutes. All right. All right, we are back. We are back. 
And there it is. I've been cooking now. I've got my, my potatoes are done. Now I use two potatoes. I cut them in slightly large chunks. And I use three carrots. And once again I cut them in nice, you know, maybe three quarter of an inch pieces. And what I am going to do is I actually add a few teaspoons of sugar, white granulated sugar to this. If you don't like to do it, no problem. What I find is it really enhances the flavor of the meat, I mean, excuse me, of the sauce rather. Now once again, what did I say? Taste, taste, taste. So it's time to taste. Mmm, wonderful, wonderful. I, I don't. It doesn't need anything. It doesn't need anything at all. Very flavorful. Um, one, like I said, the sugar really enhances that flavor once again. So I'm going to scoop up a plate. I, I have a friend that came by and and he he wants to taste test this uh, for me. So I'll see you back in one moment. All right, all right. We are back. There is the plate, the curry chicken. I'm serving it with white rice and you could also serve it with a yellow rice if, if you'd like. Uh, I prefer white rice with my curry chicken. Or And here he is. Mr. Cedric Willis is going to be our taste tester. And uh, you go on in here and dig on in, brother. this cooking all the time he, he comes over uh, often so when he heard I was doing curry chicken he made sure uh, to come over to the house so we, we really appreciate you once again please 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 subscribe please visit our blog www.realhomecooking.com and please just let us know uh, what you think about these recipes give me some encouragement give me some com comments uh, some feedback to give me that inspiration to keep on going on. So, I mean, God bless you, God keep you, and hope you enjoy the food. I'm getting ready to make my plate. I'll see you next time. Matter of fact, don't forget tomorrow, pernil, pork shoulder roast. We're going to be cooking that up on tomorrow, and I'm going to have a spe another special thing as well. So, tune back in tomorrow as well. Take care.